100 years ago, great things began right here at the Northeast Gateway to Kansas City. Dr. George Conley joined a revolutionary movement in the practice of medicine founded by the visionary physician, Dr. Andrew Taylor Still. Dr. Conley opened a new kind of medical school, Kansas City College of Osteopathy and Surgery. Back then, it was a radical concept. The osteopathic philosophy is a philosophy that embraces mind, body, and spirit. It does focus on wellness and prevention and proper nutrition and proper exercise, along with all of the accepted philosophies of medicine, surgery, and obstetrics. The culture was such that he was looked at as a maverick, and then he sought another path. Dr. Conley became the first president, using his own money to build a hospital so his graduates could practice when other hospitals refused to allow them to work. The Kansas City College was among the first to include women and attracted big dreamers of the day. Fall Gallen was a student, a graduate, and went on to become a famous basketball coach. He left his mark. Over the course of the century, countless more graduates have left their mark as well. In the life-changing area of women's health, pioneers in pharmaceutical discoveries, one graduate alerted the world to the AIDS virus. Another is world-renowned for his work in HIV and hepatitis C. Over the century, faculty and graduates of this transformational school have treated famous figures of our time, partnered with a sports hero to create a groundbreaking screening program for children, served their country in all branches of the military, treated patients in the midst of battle, and include a school president who has treated presidents of the United States. Beyond that, our graduates have treated patients in almost every medical specialty, including generations of families as all-important primary care physicians. And over the years, our doctors have delivered thousands and thousands of healthy babies. This has evolved into something that is alive, it's breathing, it's a culture transition. We've made significant contributions and we've earned respectability and credibility. One hundred years after its founding, the school remains a beacon of hope in Northeast Kansas City. The renovated historic Children's Mercy Hospital building serves as the centerpiece of a contemporary campus. Kansas City College, now named Kansas City University or KCU, is the twelfth largest medical school in the nation, the second leading producer of doctors in the states of Missouri and Kansas. The heritage here is deep. The, um, the loyalty is strong. You can take this curriculum and compare it to any other, and it'll be as good or better. Today, KCU features an innovative, interactive, student-centered curriculum. The university offers a master's degree in biosciences, fellowships in anatomy and osteopathic manipulation, award-winning student research, and cutting-edge technology with a cohesive, committed faculty. It's a place that is definitely catering to its students, making it a community, making everyone feel a part of one. They want to know what you want to do, and they want to help you get there. With an ever-present mission to serve the community, KCU's curriculum takes student doctors into elementary schools with the unique Score One for Health program, providing free health screenings, and invaluable hands-on experience. Having that patient interaction with those kids, it just reminds you, I'm in love with medicine and this is what I want to do, and I love helping these kids, and it's very rewarding. KCU offers a military track for members of armed forces, investing in realistic battle training with simulators that even bleed like real patients so that future physicians serving in war zones will be ready. Plus, a global health program with international training and additional research opportunities. 
you can go travel outside of Kansas City University to explore medicine if you have that interest. You get to go to Kenya, you get to work for two weeks in a clinic and see so many things that you're not going to see here. And the more people that you get to experience it with is going to make you a better physician. They create compassionate, competent physicians because if your mom or dad's sick, you know, who do you want? You know, taking care of them. I, I would say a graduate from here any day. But these 100 years of health, healing, and science is not the completion of a mission. In fact, it's only the beginning. KCU looks to the future with plans to build a new patient simulation center open to medical, nursing and pharmacology students and programs from across the city. Our simulation center will be a state-of-the-art facility. It will be one of the largest in the United States and it will be focused on giving our students simulated medical and surgical experiences. The students will be able to practice again and again and again so that when our students see a patient for the first time, they're prepared for almost any type of medical emergency. The vision includes scholarships, addressing the issue of student debt, continuing the school status as one of the most affordable medical schools in the nation, and investing in important research. We've got some world-class basic scientific researchers here, folks that are advancing the field of neurodegenerative disease, of cardiovascular disease, and we have researchers that are on the cusp of making discoveries that will have a positive impact on this community and communities around the world. Fitting that KCU will kick off the next century by opening a new medical school in Joplin, Missouri to focus on primary care and prevention in other parts of the state. If I were Dr. Conley, the founder of this school, and looked forward a hundred years to see what Kansas City University is like today, I'd be amazed. On that foundation of osteopathic medicine, we will continue to build other health-related programs, we'll expand our science programs, and will continue, as our mission says, to improve the well-being of the communities we serve. <laughs>